Hello. I'm going to show you how to install their land driver, especially with Malwarebytes that have the killer network program, which we all, I don't like. It has too much issues. Um, show you how to mainly install the file, uh, which is a driver only without the killer network program, because I'm, before I show you how to do it, I'm going to explain why I do not like uh, the killer network program. Well, when I when I had Malwarebytes when this was uh in 2014, um, when they updated the protection from 1.75 to 2.0, they changed their whole instant real protection, which is right here how it protects, and I started getting blue screens between the killer network and Malwarebytes, but at the time I didn't know it's a Deadpool header, so. I submitted a ticket to Malwarebytes, um, which is right here in September 18th. To, well, it was a few days before because I had to copy and paste this because my Malwarebytes account just reason got deleted. I tried to do recovery, and I never got to respond back to it, so I had to make a new, new file. Um, but lucky enough, all this was in my email because every time you talk to them, they send all the conversations to your email. Um, so I talked to a regular specialist. And they gave me a program, and they found the error for, like, the crash and stuff. And it turned out to be, like, this Bigfoot from the Killer Network and stuff like that, how the protection changed. Like, it's a long ticket. I went with them all the way to May 2015 for these people here. They transferred me over to my regular, to a specialist. And they try to do the control panel um, with your network, basically, and um, disable the bandwidth control. Um, I think that explains on this forms right here. Uh, or I think I had the forms. I forgot where I put it. Oh. But I did have the forms. I'll just look at the history. I'll look at it later. But basically, I had a form showing you how, like, you can go to the application file from, like, programs you start up, and you can disable the Kalenecker program, plus go to your control panel and um, basically disable the bandwidth control. And also on the program itself, too, it's, like, three ways. And it became, because they found this way, it became a low, they, at least they, what they said to me, it became a low priority issue. Um, but for some reason, those ways didn't fix it. it. I still kept getting blue screens. Unless I turned Malwarebytes protection off, their real protection off, then it was fine. Um, but during those crashes, I noticed my network driver corrupted. Um, so I had to uninstall and reinstall it. Uh, Malwarebytes says that shouldn't do that, but it did anyways. But I'm not going to bang on Malwarebytes because it's actually a really good program. It's really good for malware. Um, but basically, I'm just going to show you how to manually install the file without the, um, without the Killer Network program, which I didn't know how to do, so I just had to dealt with it for a long time until I really started researching a lot more and then some posted pictures how to show it but no one actually made a video so I'm just going to show you a video I had to explain the beginning be earlier with all the stuff I tried because people are just going to comment below say oh try this try this why don't you try this it's like I literally tried everything <laughs> besides mainly installing the file which I didn't know that you can do so basically um, you download this file where it says Kill a network driver with driver only, which is basically just the network connection driver, not the actual kill a network with the kill a network program. So basically, look up your motherboard, which mine's Z80 Cent M Power, which is from MSI. You download the one if they have it without the, with just the driver only, not the program. But I'm gonna have to do a step further. If you haven't installed the program yet, go to your control panel and uninstall the program. Um, for me, I have to do it different a little because I have it on here already. So you go to your computer's right click and click device manage. And since my program is working, I obviously got to install it. So I'm going to install it here, delete the file, bam. Once you obviously downloaded that file, what I told you earlier, um, it should be like in your download folder, for example, like right here. And it should like this. Um, It'll be compressed as a single file. You want to right click it and extract the file and it'll turn to this. That you'll notice there's no launch applications. That's why I had like 
I stall for a while. I was like, uh, so how do you do this? So, okay, uninstall the file showing, yep, device is not working. Your network connection can't use it. So what do you do is make just keep in your D, uh, download folder or whatever you want to put it or your desktop, whatever. Once you extract the folder and it's right there, just close this out. Go, like I said, uh, right here, right click, go to management and then go to device manage and you'll see obviously that it's not working anymore. <laughs> so what you do is you do that, you right click, you click update driver software. Now you can do two options, automatic, which obviously is not going to work because you're not connected to the internet. Then you do browse it, which is basically the folder. So you just set the location wherever the folder is. You can browse it, click the arrow, which obviously mine's in my download folder. Um, that's all, You can leave that checked. It just includes subfolders. So you click that, you click next, and bam. Now you officially have your Ethernet driver direct connection without the Quantum Killer program, which has all that bandwidth control and stuff, which also causes malware bytes and them to fight over and cause a blue screen. So basically, I'm just going to show make sure my internet works and stuff. There you go. So. And that is it. So that's how you install um, your direct connection file that I showed on the website right here. Well, of course I close it out. <laughs> oh, on your MSI website, basically. Um, yeah, there it is. Basically, you just look for your mother, motherboard brand. You go to support. You go to drivers. Choose your OS. And then look for the killer network program without just driver only. Not the actual, like, with the killer network. It's like just for killer network on Lander without the killer network manager. And that's how you do it. So make sure you download this folder before doing it. <laughs> that's just, I should have said that in the beginning, but I think I did, though. All right, so you take care, and I hopefully this video uh, helped you. If it doesn't, I'm, again, very sorry. Just make sure you have the original program you had with the, the thing, just in case it doesn't work. But for me, it works, and I haven't had a blue screen issue for the past five days. All right, you take care.